Hey there, it's Jess here from Hush, and here at Hush we are all about finding natural solutions to help you sleep better, and that means we've done our research. We know that there are some pretty big fancy brands out there with intense marketing strategies to trick you into believing certain products are maybe better than they are. So we are here today to pull back that curtain and let you in on some sleep secrets that the industry doesn't want you to know. Number one, more sleep equals better sleep. Yeah, it's great to get eight hours of sleep. Seven to nine is the recommended sleep time. You should aim for that. But just because you're sleeping more doesn't mean you're sleeping better. Sleep quantity and sleep quality are two different things. Let's say you sleep eight hours in a night. That's awesome, but how is your sleep quality? Did you wake up four times in the night to go to the bathroom from a nightmare, from sweating, from your restless leg syndrome, whatever it is. So if a brand is promising that you'll fall asleep faster with their product, check to see if you actually have a better sleep quality throughout the night. Sometimes just trial and error to see if the product works right for you, but just be aware of this marketing lingo and know that more sleep doesn't necessarily always mean better sleep. Number two, melatonin. People take melatonin supplements when they don't think that their body is producing enough melatonin to help you naturally fall asleep. In the daytime, your body doesn't produce much melatonin, but in the nighttime, it starts producing more and that sends signals to your brain that helps you relax and wind down for the night and therefore it leads into sleep. Melatonin is not a one size fits all solution. It's great for certain kinds of people. So if you're in your older age, age, maybe around 70 or older, it's possible that your body has slowed down the production of melatonin and so supplements might help you. Another reason melatonin might be great is if you're traveling and you're trying to get your body adjusted to a new time zone, melatonin can help adjust your body to that time zone. And the third reason it might work great for you is if you have a specific health condition in which your body is not producing a lot of melatonin. Melatonin can be good for short-term solutions but it's not recommended for long-term solutions. There isn't a ton of research on it to prove that long-term use of melatonin is healthy for your body. Many people also experience drowsiness the day after taking melatonin, and this can be dangerous, especially if you're driving to work in the morning and you're feeling overly tired from the lasting effect of the melatonin. That can be a problem. Lastly, you might have an underlying health condition, which is the reason why you're not sleeping well. If you're masking it and covering it and just trying to short-term get rid of it with melatonin, you might be covering up something that needs medical attention. So I urge you to speak to your doctor and see what's really right for you. Number three, blue light glasses. Now, blue light glasses have become super trendy over the last few years. I've seen tons of people wearing them, but do they actually do anything? Well, it's true that blue light can keep you awake at night if you're exposed to it right before you go to sleep. So you can wear blue light glasses if you absolutely need to check your phone right before you go to bed. But to be honest, put your phone away an hour before you go to bed. Don't touch it, don't look at it. You don't need any blue light, any screen time right before you go to bed anyway. Now some people have said the blue light you take in during the day can stay there and keep you awake longer into the night, but that's not really true. The reason that your eyes actually get tired when you're looking at screens for a long period of time is because when you're focused, you don't blink as much, especially when you're on a screen that's really close to you and your eyes get tired. And that's that feeling of like, oh my gosh, my brain is gonna explode. I've been looking at a screen too long. Really, you've just been focusing on one thing too long. So a great natural solution to this is the 20-20-20 rule. So every 20 minutes, you're gonna look 20 feet away from you for 20 seconds and that should help. My last sleep industry secret has to do with mattresses. So it's actually funny because the sleep industry has kind of moved backwards in terms of innovation. Old school mattresses, the ones your parents, grandparents probably have, good high quality ones, have springs or coils in them. And you might think of those as the pokey ones that are not comfortable and they squeak and go up and down like this. So the way that the industry has moved is towards all foam mattresses, taking the springs out all together. So there are tons of different mattresses that you can get. You can get hybrids that have the foam and the springs. You can get all foam with no springs. You can get different types of foam mattresses. There are tons of options. But today I'm gonna to talk about the more affordable all foam mattresses, no springs at all. So the all foam mattresses have become really, really popular over the last few years because they're very easy. A lot of them you can order online. They come to your door in a box and bada bing, bada boom, you got a mattress. You just take it out, 
unfold it, it does that huge like roll and then like flip and then it's open on your bed and it like looks super cool and then you like post a picture of it on Instagram or like if you've seen those TikToks where they like explode and knock people out, very funny. Anyways, I'll tell you that a lot of the brands market these foam mattresses as the trendy hipster thing to do and like the best option but we're here to tell you what they're not telling you the reason all foam mattresses aren't so great well there's a few let's start with number one in an all foam mattress where there aren't any springs and the foam is all the same throughout your body will not be fully supported so if you think about the way your body is your head is lighter compared to your torso and compared to your legs so when the foam is the same all throughout, your torso is gonna sink in and your head's gonna kind of be up here and your feet are kind of gonna be up here because those are naturally lighter and this is naturally heavier. When you have a mattress that was made to support your body, the support will be different in your torso than it will be in your head and your feet. So it'll support your body where it needs to be supported. But when you have springs, for example, in your mattress, it'll hold the heavy part of your body up and it will allow for proper spinal alignment. If you're sleeping with a partner, an all foam mattress might weigh down on one side, whereas one where there are individual springs placed, one side will not affect the other. When you have an all foam mattress that is all the same throughout, this side sinks, this side sinks with it. Another thing to note is that all foam mattresses don't last as long as spring mattresses do. That's why your parents and your grandparents still have the same mattress, which by the way, you should change it about every 10 years regardless of what kind of mattress it is. But ones with coils were made to last longer than ones with foam. So an all foam mattress, you might be replacing a little more often than you would a hybrid or a spring mattress. Okay, here's a little secret for you. Memory foam remembers. So when you're sleeping with a memory foam mattress, all foam, it will eventually wear in and the mattress will concave and it will stay like that. It'll wear out and it won't bounce back. Like if you have like a coil mattress, it won't bounce back the same way and keep in the same position as when you first bought it. And that's it from us today. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you have any questions about the sleep secrets, if you have any questions about Hush, anything like that we are completely transparent and we want to share all of our knowledge with you so if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to know about if you have any questions about what we talked about please drop them down below we would love to answer them see you next time